Hi, I'm the Brown Booktuber and here we talk about books from all around the world, in particular Asia, and I'm finally back, COVID free, survived the heat wave in the UK. If it's hot where you are, please make sure you stay hydrated and stay in the shade. And today we're going to be talking about a book called Record of a Night Too Brief by an author who is quickly becoming one of my favourites, Hiromi Kawakami. I've talked about many many Kawakami books. I've also spoken about many Kawakami books on this channel and I'll be frank, Record of a Night Too Brief is one of the most feverish books I have ever read. It's less of a book, it's a collection of three short stories by Kawakami where a couple of her uh, books or collections, I'll call them books, are a you know, collection of short stories, but this one in particular, and I think it's really described very well here in one of the sections of the verb. It is. It says, sensual, yearning, and filled with the tricks of memory and grief. And I think this really demonstrates the three short stories in this uh, collection. I want to focus mostly on the first one, which is the namesake of the book, Record of a Night Too Brief, because it was the most... What's going on? For some context, I was reading this on the day it was 40 degrees in the UK for the first time. It was hot. I was uh, in a hospital for personal reasons, not, not my own, but... um. And it was just, the sun was beating down, it was hot, despite how much water I drank, I felt dehydrated, and I was reading this, and I was just like, this is already a fever dream. As you can see on this cover, there's mushrooms, and it's, frankly, I've never consumed uh, this, uh, you know, the illicit version of these. <laughs> FBI, that's, that's true, it's true, I promise. <laughs> But, uh, honestly, this is the closest thing I could think of uh, when reading this. It's... It was so... I don't know if surreal is the correct word, although have they used surreal in the description here? No, they've not. It wasn't surreal. It was just mind-bending. It was... He's a terrible person. But I, I'd say a Dali painting where it's just melding and melting and everything's so confusing. Uh, that's the kind of thing I ex like this book is. It's just mind-bending book, short story. It's just mind-bending some of the stuff that Kawakami says. Like, I've read other Kawakami books, and she does uh, very much venture into that... Uh, supernatural, mind-bending world. It's, supernatural is not the correct word. Although I think they use supernatural here as a, uh, to describe it. No, they don't. But it, mind-bending, they, yeah, it, I keep referring to the blurb because it's actually very good at describing how the book feels. Um, but it is very much that, what's going on here? I'm, what? D what? <laughs> that's 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 my reaction. What? Um, but it, it's one of Kawakami's books that are more like that. It definitely leans more into that. Some of the other ones, like Nishino, which I spoke about, it has got a little bit of that. Okay, um, unnatural. I'll say unnatural, not quite supernatural. World that comes into it, but. Uh, this definitely leans heavily into that, and it's kind of set up, it's more it's more there. Some of the Kawakami books kind of, it sneaks in as a dream sequence, but this is, the, the books and the stories throughout are set up to be like this, which is nice. But it's, it's definitely, it's definitely one of those Marmite stories. The, especially um, Record of a Night Too Brief is very Marmite-like. It's either you're gonna like it or you're gonna hate it. I'm kind of on the side where I'm, I'm leaning slightly towards like the more I think about it. I think when I was reading it, uh, maybe don't read it when, you know, you're probably dehydrated and close to having hallucinations because of the heat. Um, but I would say, as a final takeaway for this very 
uh, rambly introduction to Record of a Night Too Brief, and frankly, I feel like that's appropriate for a story like a Record for a Night Too Brief, because if you ask someone to sit down and talk to you about a Record of a Night Too Brief, there is no way they could give you a structured discussion about this. I'm sure they could if they're smart people, unlike me. But if you're like me and you're reading this, you can't give a structured answer to that. Uh, it, this is not the first Kawakami book story collection you should be reading, especially if you're someone who isn't used to reading books that kind of delve into this... I feel like surreal is the correct word now, actually. If you're not used to books that delve into that kind of world, don't let this be your first Kawakami. I think become more used to Kawakami books, read a couple uh, Murata books, um, because those are also just oh my god, these intense metaphors for things, like this is an intense metaphor for grief, sensuality, um, that's what this book is, these stories, they're intense metaphors for that. If you've not read books that are intense metaphors, don't go into this straight away because I feel like it might put you off uh, Kawakami's other writing, which I don't want. I love Kawakami's other books. I wouldn't say the story of a record, record of a night too brief, and the other two short stories, missing and sn stepped on, uh, a snake stepped on. I, I wouldn't say those are my favorites either, but I wouldn't want that to put you off reading other Kawakami books. So my takeaway is. If you like intense metaphors that are sometimes just mind-boggling, Dali-esque paintings with words, sure, read the heck out of this. If you've never read a Kawakami book and you've not read anything like that, don't read this first. Read other stuff like that, read other Kawakami books, then come to this. Because I want you to enjoy Kawakami because I love Kawakami. And that's my takeaway. Read this if you are used to books like this. Read this if you uh, have read other Kawakami, but maybe don't put it on your top of must to read list if you've not read any of those, because I want you to understand this. I want you to really like Kawakami. <laughs> Romy Kawakami, I love you. It, 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 not not like some of the stuff described in this though. This is this was this was like I was reading this on the train sometimes and I was like, what the heck? What's going on here? But that's my takeaway. Hey, if you have read any Hiromi Kawakami books, let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite Kawakami book? If you've read even just one of the short stories in Record of a Night Too Brief, let me know what you thought of it. If you've read specifically Record of a Night Too Brief. Let me know what you thought about it. And hey, FBI agent, remember, I have never, ever touched any of these illicit versions of these. I'm just saying, I'm clean. I'm clean. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share the video with a friend or family member. And hey, I hope you read a great, great book.